Hello, good evening. Welcome to another edition of The Russell Show. My name is Russell Brooks. Now, on today's episode, I'm more than honored to talk to you about a very extraordinary individual, and her name is Valerie Plame Wilson. Now, for those who are not familiar with whom Ms. Wilson is, she is an ex-covert agent of the Central Intelligence Agency, otherwise known as the CIA, who in 2003 had her cover blown, not by terrorists, not by rogue nations, but by members of the White House, of the Bush administration. Now, the reason why I'm talking to you about uh, Miss Wilson is because I read her book, and the title of her book is called Fair Game, My Life as a Spy, My Betrayal by the White House, by Valerie Plain Wilson. Now, there are several lessons that can be learned from this book. Now, it's the most important lesson that can be learned from this story is about personal empowerment, stand up for your rights, and making guilty people accountable for their actions. Now, the way this can relate to a lot of situations, one, in one situation in particular this can relate to is pe <clears throat> people who are victims of, let's say, workplace harassment or in form of sexual harassment in the job or even psychological harassment. And these are individuals who are probably too scared to stand up and file a complaint with the proper authorities or the proper individuals because they were afraid of a backlash and losing their job and being blacklist, blacklisted and not being able to get another job because they're known as troublemakers and whiners. Well, I, get, I have news for you. If, as long as you are silent, as long as you don't speak up and get help from the right people, you are only giving the people who harass you more power over you. And even if you quit your job and go work elsewhere, trust me, the problems are not going to end there. You stand in a very good chance of having these problems follow you everywhere, you're, everywhere you go. Okay? So basically, one of the reasons why I read this book was actually just to get a little bit more background information on the Central Intelligence Agency. But in reading this, and I learned about basically what she went through from having her life and her family threatened to the harassing phone calls, and even also to the defamation of character and the ridicule she got from the people that had exposed her as a result of something her husband did. He, he did the right thing, by the way, standing up to the White House and declaring that he did not find any weapons, any, any proof that Iraq was trying to purchase weapons of mass destruction from the country of Niger. Now, as a result of writing an op-ed in the New York Times, the White House, well, certain members of the White House were not satisfied with him doing so and decided to take revenge by blowing his wife's cover and therefore ridiculing him and everything that he stands for. Well, guess what? They, they, both she and her husband fought back and they got, they got justice. And I have to say, I'm not going to tell you anything more. I strongly suggest that you read this book, okay? You read this book and find out all the details from it. And I can guarantee to you, this is probably one of the most important books I have ever read in my life, and it most definitely will be one of the most important books that you will ever read. Now, moving on, uh, in, in accordance to keeping with the theme of this episode of personal empowerment, I'd like to read to you a poem from uh, my buddy Tria, who hails from Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> and it's called The Other Side of the Coin, The Mind of a Male. So here it goes. The Other Side of a Coin, The Mind of a Male. So... You wonder what goes on in my head. It may not be physical pain, but emotionally, I'm dead. You see, women think they have it bad when they've been hit. You don't see the tears flowing from our eyes when we bow and sit. This is because we are supposed to be the strong ones. However, our strength level sometimes drops to none. You criticize our every mistake, and like glass, our hearts break. We can love just as strong and hard as you can. But you cut us with your words and turn us and tell, to, tell us to be a man. There are only so much before we totally break down. The signs are there. Not much before are we going to be around. Because a hole is forming, see? It's deeper than the bottomless pit. Our poison is most deadly. Stay back before you get yourself bit. Open your heart's eyes and view the invisible casket. Your verbal strike has sent us to hell in a handbasket. All we do to show our love, and you are still blind. Do you still wonder what goes on in our minds? The end. Well, thank you again for joining me for another episode. Um, feel free to join me next week or the week after for the next episodes as they are soon to come. Thank you. Have yourself a pleasant evening. 
good night, be safe, and stay healthy.